tow the Arctic out backwards. I folded it. Fingers. Just popping up the woods this morning, it looks like we've got more. More lorries getting stuck out. I was just gonna have a quick mooch to see how badly they've got stuck again because I just think it's crazy. You can see here, look, the big, this is when the big truck comes up. That's his, that's their grips on the big truck that comes to rescue him. Look at it, what on earth? There's hardly any trap left, it's been destroyed. That's concrete truck that was up here was a, a concrete wagon because that wasn't concrete the other day so he's obviously slopped out some of his concrete mix into the back unbelievable just had the full story about the um, the lane apparently yesterday at 10 o'clock in the morning an arctic lorry came up the lane he met a concrete wagon coming the other way they met halfway where that mud was and the concrete wagon got stuck and the Arctic couldn't go anywhere but they had to have burrows which is um, a local lorry recovery they come up with this huge monster truck which I've put in the video before burrows had to tow the Arctic out backwards that took, uh, that took six hours to get that done and then they had to go and tow out, so that was four o'clock in the afternoon, then they had to go and tow out the uh, mixer wagon, which took two more lorries to get that one out, and that took till 10 o'clock last night. And so now the road is basically destroyed, but never mind. <laughs> it doesn't actually affect me too much. And the worse the road is, the less we get fly tippers and just weird folk coming up here. Right, all right, onwards and upwards. Hey up. Today we're continuing on with our coffee cutting. It's all getting a little bit boring now, isn't it? It's a point where you're like over the weekend I had to do some cherry log extracting it was a tree I cut down about a month or two ago and because the stems were on the bank and I didn't just want to ring it up for firewood it'd be nice to get some planks out of that came up with a cunning plan on the trailer I've got there's an electric winch and I've never used it, it was on the trailer when I bought it. I thought, well, I need to give this a whirl. Gave it a bit of a test run on Friday and got it to work, fairly straightforward. Dropped the winch onto the log on Saturday and it all happened within a split second and it was both stems were on the trailer and I forgot to get the camera out. I don't know what it is about winching something, but it was very, very satisfying. <laughs> so today what we're gonna do, I want to try and get another four tankfuls done I've come down this bottom end and I don't know why because I was actually going to start up the top end <laughs> come on let's go back up the top end it's just a bit on the chilly side this morning they forecast a cooler week very little in the way of rain which could be good for me because I could do with a cold spell to try and get some of this timber out not only the firewood, but also all these poles that I've got on order. Thursday could be extraction day. We'll get something done this morning.
Look at that. We were saying in our house, never trust the weatherman. The weatherman said it would be about minus one. This morning, minus five. It's actually minus six over here. It's a bit cold on the little Donnies. We can work with this, it's okay. We're all good because it means I've got into the woodland with the van. It means the ground's rock hard. And that's good because we can get these eight foot poles in and these six foot poles in. And maybe we can get them all out today and that would be fantastic. Three trips in the trailer should get them all out. But I've got to finish cutting first. So I need another 20 at eight foot and I need about another 60 at six foot. Well, it's lunchtime, but we've made more of a mess. So I think the priority now is, because it's still frosty, is to try and extract as much as possible for the rest of the day. So it gives me about four hours after noon. Can you hear Jeff in the yard? He's cutting his firewood. There we go. That's the circle of saw as the wood goes through it. Uh, onwards and upwards. Light. Hey, up. Jeff. You hear something again? Comment. I am done in today. I get your heart rate up. So we're extracted 170 long ones. Hundred and seventy small ones. Dragging them all up by end, so that's certainly warm me out. So I know I've got more than enough eight foot poles and then I'll have to have a count up to find out how many six foot poles I've still got to cut and they've all got to be dressed yet but I think I might only have to cut about another 36 foot. Then of course then we can get the spondulas in which would be good because it means I've just been cutting and cutting and cutting and you earn bits but it's not much. I think he's steaming up man what's going on? Glasses are steaming up. Anyway, that could be the end of this wood log. I'll bid you farewell. Well, yesterday I closed down the wood log, said to R and all that. That was because I'm supposed to be doing a gardening job this morning and well that's not happening. And then tomorrow's meant to be my neighbour at the woods is doing some fencing repairs. Her fencing contractors have cancelled because it's too cold. We're back at Jeff's in Rossiston. I'm going to carry on doing some more cutting. I've got about 20 to 36 foot poles to get out still and that will mean that order is finished. All I've got to do is dress them then and get them out. There's not that many more stools to cut. There might be another 40 
we are getting pretty close to wrapping this up, which should be awesome. There's always one look. That's to drop out the thing and put it in twice. Just stupid thing. Have you ever walked into a tow bar? Makes your eyes water. 50 of them on and just 50 to go. That's the last load on. Finally, I tell you what, that's wiped me out. That as I don't know, I must be physically unhealthy because <laughs> dragging that lot out, basically 500 stakes dragged out by hand, is no joke. Certainly don't need the gym here, that's for sure. But that concludes another wood log. If you've managed to watch till this point, you deserve a medal. I think I'd have clicked off hours ago. <laughs> but if you're able to, and you get chance, this winter, try and plant another tree. It made me think last week, there was a chappy that died, a friend of ours, he had cancer and it all happened really rapid and quick. And sometimes you're like, what, what can you do? What? You feel a bit helpless at times, don't you? Especially when it comes to their family. But if you've lost a loved one, then sometimes planting a tree, watching it grow, can um, see hope in amongst the despair. Maybe as a suggestion, if you've lost someone close to you recently, consider planting a tree, or two, or a hundred, or a thousand, or a woodland, I don't mind. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Like, share, comment. If you fancy it, subscribe. If you've not hit the thumb, click on that. And as my daughter says, hit the notification bell. And that means when a wood log comes out, you get a little alarm bell come. Which sounds awesome, doesn't it? Huh? So yeah, hit the notification bell, and if you want to share it, I had a share the other day, somebody shared one of my videos. Uh, I think it was Bonnie Dune Homestead. Thank you, Bonnie. If that's your, is that your first name? Is that the name of the homestead? Is Bonnie Dune the homestead? That's a good question. So many questions. Anyway, thanks for the little share. I will see you next week, all being well, and I hope you have a good weekend and all that. Take care. See you soon.